Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk View. This morning we're going to delve into another piece of Smalltalk syntax, an object called the block and the literal syntax for creating them. This is how you create a block. I put square brace, code, square brace. Now you're going to notice that nothing seems to happen here. I'm going to do a do it on this and nothing seems to happen. If I do a print it, I get what looks like the same thing back. That's because what I've done is I've created a block closure object. It's not executed. If I wanted to execute, I would have to send the value or value colon message to it in order to send an argument in. So if I want this to execute, notice I do this browser open value. It'll now open a Smalltalk browser for me. And this is what got this to execute. What I'm doing with the block is I'm creating a piece of deferred code. I'm taking an execution context, putting it aside, and at some later point I can execute it when I need to. So I can store that execution context in a variable. I can then pass that as an argument to something else. I can store it as an instance variable. I can do whatever I want with it. So if I need to have kind of anonymous functions in Smalltalk, this is how I do it. So here is the same thing but with an argument. Notice this syntax, colon x and vertical bar. That means I get exactly one argument into this and I execute that with value colon and the number of arguments. If I had a two argument block, it would be value value. Notice this, colon x, colon y, vertical bar, the code, and value colon, value colon. So this is how I create anonymous functions and then at some later point I can execute them. These are highly useful in many contexts in Smalltalk and this is how they're created as literal syntax. Square braces, code, and then possible number of arguments. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.